What's up guys, today we're going to take a quick look at the new OS X, which is Mac OS X Mountain Lion. This is developer preview 4. We're going to start off with the new notification center up here in the right corner. If we click on this, it will show us our Twitter right here. It will also pop up notifications such as reminders, your Twitter, your email, and stuff like that, or iMessages also. And it should have Facebook up here too if you have your account set up. However, for me, it's not showing up. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong or something it's not allowing me to do. But Facebook is not popping up and I do have my account set up. But I will show you that in just a second. Anyways, here is Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and show you what you can do. So here you can tweet straight from Notification Center. So if I say this is a test tweet from Notification, if I can spell, Center. And I will go ahead and send that. And it makes a little noise that you just heard, and it is sent. Now, also, you can use the new feature, another new feature in Mac OS X Mountain Lion, which is Siri Dictation. So you can set up a keyboard shortcut, and mine is double tap FN twice, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. My name is Cody, and I am tweeting from the new Siri Dictation in Mac OS X Mountain Lion. As you see, it did it amazing. It did everything correct. Everything I said, it got it perfect. I'm just going to add an exclamation point. If I did want to add an exclamation point when I use Siri Dictation, all I had to do was say exclamation point at the end, and that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Send, and it is sent. And that is Notification Center. So right here is where you can set up your Twitter and Facebook. Here is the Facebook integration. Here is the Twitter integration. They have integrated Facebook, which is really awesome. And you can set up all your accounts right here. Just hit the plus button. It'll ask what account you want to set up. And you can just click Facebook or whatever. Next up, we have Safari. I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari and show you some new features inside of it. So the first new feature is sharing. You can share easier than ever. Go up here to this tab right here. Click on it. You can add to reading list, add bookmark, email this page, message, which is I message this page, Twitter, and Facebook this page. So that is pretty cool. Another amazing feature is called iCloud Tab. So let's say I am running iOS 6 on my iPad 3, which I am, and I have a Safari web page open. Well, if I go up here and click the iCloud Tabs, it will show the page that I have open. So I could go ahead straight from here and click it, and it will take me right to it. Also, another quick thing to mention, if you haven't noticed, the dock is new. They have a new glass dock. Nothing really really exciting about that but I just wanted to tell you guys that and last but not least iMessage as you can see this is iMessage right here now here's where I ran into another problem it won't let me set up my Apple ID using iMessage but it will let me send to other people and they can send back but I'm using my email so it won't let me set up my Apple ID if you know why or if I'm doing something wrong please let me know but here is iMessage all you do is click a new message say who it's to let's say if I put my email here is my email right down here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say what's up. And now I just sent that message. And as you see right here from speaking of tech, right there it said what's up. So that's how I have mine set up. But I want it set up where the Apple ID is to receive a message that way through my Apple ID. But I'm not sure why it's not allowing me to. It gives me an error message every time. So that's it for my quick look at Mac OS X Mountain Lion Developer Preview 4. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please hit that like button and also subscribe because it does help me out a lot. I will catch you guys in the next one.